Hello and welcome back to Coins and More UK. I hope everyone is having a fantastic week. And in today's video, we have got a Beatrix Potter coin to have a look at. I've just done a, another trade based on the feedback from the last video. And of course, we've got a brand new coin, which has just been issued by the Royal Mint to have a look at. And I can't wait to get into it. So let's do this. Okay, so based on my last video, I did ask anyone to pop any comments on that video if they had any spare Beatrix Potter bunk packs. And I was quite lucky, I did have a good bit of feedback. And uh, one of them was from Angela Sykes. And she says, hi Matthew, thank you for doing the trade. Hope you and the family are well. So yeah, Angela did get in touch. Um, she asked um, what territory coins that I had spare. And it turns out that I did have quite a few. So um, we've worked out a trade, some uh, some territory territory coins, and I've also whacked in a few extras as well. But thank you very much, Angela, for doing this, and um, I do appreciate it because when you see the coin, it is this. It is Jemima Puddle Duck. Again, I did think this would be really difficult to get a hold of, but luckily Angela had a couple spare, so um, she got in touch, and she says, Hi, Matthew, would you like one of these? And of course, I said, yeah. So again, Angela, very kind to um, sort out this trade. Um, and uh, your items should be with you very soon and I, I hope you enjoy them but again thank you very much for sorting me out with with this Jamama Potter Duck it's epic and it's about to go up on the shelves so very good result that is so thank you so much Angela okay so moving on Mr Postman has just arrived and I hope this is what I think it is so let's get this opened without knocking the camera Let's have a look, let's see if there's any evidence in there, which I'm going to remove, we'll take that out. And fingers crossed, this is the coin that I've <laughs> been waiting for, for a long time, since last year, as a lot of us have. So here we go, and of course, there it is, it is the Team GB 50p coin. And yeah, wow, look at that. Oh, I didn't bother getting any coins from last year, so to see this up in person now is absolutely fantastic. There we are, I believe an ex extraordinary Team GB. Now this is um, the 2021 version, but I think it's um, possibly one of the only dual dated 50p coins out there because if you look quite closely, we have got the 2020 date up there, which is really cool. And we'll whack, whack this open in a minute. So we've got some coin specifications on the back. So uh, denomination 50p, uh, obverse designer Jody Clark. And the reverse designer is David Napton. And the quality, of course, is brilliant uncirculated. So there we have it. As hundreds of the very best athletes from across Great Britain and Northern Ireland team up to represent their nation in the Tokyo 2020 Olympic Games, now being held in 2021, the Royal Mint has struck this coin to celebrate these homegrown heroes and their inspirational pursuit of excellence. And it's really nice. I've, oh, I've been looking forward to getting this so much. So let's have a sneaky peek. I'm going to be really careful with this because I don't want to damage the packaging any more than I have to. But of course, this is what I do. So you guys don't have to at home. And let's get a better look at that coin. And what a stunner. All these different sports. There's loads on there. Oops, I've got a bit of dirt on my fingers. Um... <laughs> I can make some of them out. We've got, of course, we've got tennis, we've got archery, table tennis, boxing, badminton, uh, equestrian. Is that a skateboard up there? Looks like a skateboard. But there's loads and loads of different sports on there. And it's a fantastic coin. It is absolutely stunning. Uh, each, each to their own. I'm not quite sure what the opinion is uh, like on this coin, but I do love it. So if we do have a look at the other side, we've got 2021. And then, of course, there we've got uh, 2020. It's really small, so Zoom's struggling a little bit, but it is lovely. Okay, so let's have a look. So we've got homegrown heroes uh, made up of ordinary people, uh, achieving ex extraordinary things. Team GB are one of the most inspirational and best loved British sports teams. In each athlete, there is the child that once dreamed of standing on the medal podium. And through remarkable commitment and hard work, their journeys encourage us all to believe that we too can achieve our personal best. Let's have a look, see what we've got here. So we've got some information about the capital. 
Tokyo about where the Olympic Games is being held. So playing host to the games is Japan's capital Tokyo. In addition to the main stadium which has been rebuilt for the occasion, competitions take place at venues across the city. And of course if you want to pause this video at any time to have a full read of any information in this booklet, please feel free to do so. I shall have a quick flick through now. And they've got some information, so this is quite good. I do like these bits. So uh, you need to line up 14,653 50p coins end to end to get you all the way around an Olympic stadium. Stadium's 400 meter oval athletics track and past the finish line. That is absolutely crazy. Okay, so the weight of a shuttlecock is similar to that of a 20p coin. And uh, Team GB's most successful sports are athletics, cycling, and rowing. That's pretty awesome. And again, there is some more information. Again, feel free to pause the video. Uh, big in Japan. So um, go online and see the coin come to life. Explore the inspirational story of the Tokyo 2020 Olympic Games held in 2021. Okay, so yeah, I'll go and check that out later. And again, you've got some illustrations there. Cycling, we always do quite well um, during the Olympic Games. And they've got some fencing and some badminton just there as well. It's really nice. I do like the colours. It's really vibrant. And then on the back, we've got uh, a bit of information about David Napton. So the coin's reverse design was created by David Napton, a senior designer who has worked at the Royal Mint for eight years, working on creative projects for campaigns, products and coin designs. His recent work includes the designs for the Paddington 50p coin series. His team at GB Design encourages you to view the coin from different angles as you try to work out how many of the sports you recognise. And of course, that's what I have been trying to do um, since the uh, pictures came out last year. Uh, your imagination runs wild about what some of these images are on this 50p coin. But it is good fun. And again, there's some more information uh, and, and a quote from David Napton himself. And then Unite and Inspire, last bit of information. So in 2012, the Royal Mint issued a series of sporting coins into circulation that became highly collectible, and they did indeed. I can't believe after all this time, you know, we're still finding them in change. Uh, they're getting rarer and rarer, but they are still out there to find. So designed by the public for the London 2012 Olympic Games, the series captured the spirit of a nation, united for their sporting heroes. This new coin demonstrates the nation's continued support for Team GB and their exciting bid for victory at the Tokyo 2020 Olympic Games, which of course is now being held in 2021. And again, just some more pictures of the sports uh, taking place now. So uh, yeah, that's fantastic. I do love this booklet. Um, I do love the packaging as well. It's really nice. And again, we'll take one last look at the obverse, Queen's Head. The lighting's really reflecting bad off this plastic uh, film. And then again, we've got the front of the coin there. Let's see if we get a good zoom. There we go. Let's get an angle. If I put my hand there, it might zoom in a bit better. Let's put it down there. But you can just see the 2020 just there. So it is a dual dated 50p coin. And I'm guessing um, whether this will be in circulation or not, but um, to anyone that did manage to grab last year's version, they'll be laughing, I'm pretty sure. They should rise in price if these don't go into circulation, so that's really cool. And it's a stunning design, and I've been looking forward to getting this coin for so long. And I do hope they put this in circulation. It deserves to be in circulation. It really, really does. And I'm pretty sure it will bring in a new, new, new era of coin collectors. You know, being able to find sealed bags of these will be incredible. So let's whack you down there. And that is my review. Um, I'm really happy with it. It's a lovely coin. I have seen, seen some pictures this morning of the, the coloured version. Unfortunately, blending into the coin itself, you know, the, the colour's not stamped on it right, which is really disappointing, but... It is what it is, and I'm hoping the Royal Mint will sort them problems out for anyone that has issues with the coloured variant. But I am looking forward to seeing the reviews on that as well. But this has been a lovely coin, and it's really been worth the wait. So please let me know in the comments um, below if you have got this coin, uh, if you've got the uh, the bunk version, the coloured version, 
or like Coin Cupboard, you've gone and got the gold version, which which was stunning. If you go and check out Coin Cupboard's Instagram, you'll see a gold version of this coin, and it is beautiful. So if you did like this video, please, um, again, yeah, leave me a like. Um, and if you want to subscribe to my channel, that would be fantastic as well. And of course, if you press the notification button, you'll always be um, notified when I upload new videos like this. All that's left me to say, guys is, um, and girls, thank you so much for watching as always. Um, have a fantastic week. And always remember, there's always two sides to every coin if you take the time to look. Bye for now, and I shall see you all in the next video.